Welcome, my friends. Here we are once again to sample some more great tasting international craft beers with Dr. Dave. Oh, international craft beers, baby. Now for our sampling pleasures and tasting delights. Today we have one right here. It's going to be a good one. This is from the Bitburger Brauerei, located in Bitburg, Germany. This is the Fest beer. Oh, man. Yes, indeed. Now, this checks in a little bit higher alcohol than a lot of Fest beers. This is 6.2%, where most Fest beers are in 4.5 to 5 range. So, a little bit higher alcohol on here. Clearly stamped on the back of this bottle. Now, that's what we want to see. Look at that. That's the date right there. And you can't miss it. Stevie Wonder could see that date. Yes, indeed. Good before April 16th of next year. Now, using my little trick here, you take the uh, Susan B. Anthony dollar and you place it over the bottle cap. This is only for people who want to collect bottle caps and don't want dents in them. And then you open up the bottle and perfect bottle cap with no dents. All right. Beautiful, baby. I do have glassware from this brewery, but I looked for it. I didn't see it. I'm not going to spend 20 minutes out there looking for it. So I washed this bow tie glass, and it'll do quite nicely. Now, this is 11.2 ounces because international standards. A lot of people don't like these smaller bottles, and uh, yeah, there's quite a few people on YouTube that uh, despise these smaller bottles. But 11.2 ounces is the standard in Germany, not 12 ounces like it is here in America. Beautiful amber color. Now, we don't have a whole lot of sunlight coming through the window. It's a bloody gray day out there. Oh, man, it's going to snow shortly. But this is a very uh, clear pour, very clear, beautiful amber color. Made a little bit of a uh, white head there. Now, I do have my handy-dandy stir stick here. And what we do is we just take our stir stick and we'll put it in here and we'll agitate the beer a little bit. you got to be careful and don't get too smart with it, though, because it'll come up right over the top. And there it is. <laughs> How about that, baby? Yeah, now that's how I like to see my beer served at the bars. Oh, wow, very malty. These fest beers are much more malty than they are hoppy. It's a tradition with that. Yeah. Mm. Very bready as well. Bready and malty. Wow. All right. Well, hey, let's go ahead and drink her up. We're going to thank the brewers there in Bitburg, Germany. They do a lot of uh, excellent things there in Germany. They sure do. I never met a beer from Germany that I didn't like yet, and I probably never will. <laughs> That's for sure. And cheers to everybody watching at home, no doubt. This is probably the third or fourth fest beer I've had this season. And they're all pretty much the same. Now, the difference between this Fest beer and the others that I had, this has a lovely dry finish where the others didn't. And I'm going to tell you, don't let the description or the color fool you. This is a full-bodied beer. Very dry and crisp. Oh, it's quite lovely. Oh, it is. You could use this as an aperitif or a digestif or just sit around and talk uh, with your friends and have a few of these. It's 6.2%. Alcohol is a little bit higher, so you, you got to watch yourself. But, uh, man, I tell you what, since I put that stir stick in here, this has got some serious head to it, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. This is very pleasant, easy drinking beer. I would highly recommend this beer. Now, I don't know. I think the season on these beers... I think they come out in probably mid-October, and they go roughly until the end of the year. So you can still find this on your store shelves. But again, this is from Bitburger Brauerei, located in Bitburg, Germany. The Fest beer. Oh, it's quite lovely. Yeah. Mmm. Nice dry finish on there. I like a dry finish on a beer, definitely. I better leave something to take a picture of. Lovely lacing there, also clinging to the glassware. Just lovely. Mm. Full-bodied beer, baby. 
make you happy. All right, Dr. Dave's going to run out of here. But before I do, I'm going to tell you life is short. Be happy. Drink great craft beers like this one from Germany. Can't go wrong with that, baby. Cheers till next time.